In 2013, Christie's Place went, underwent a timely and significant shift in organizational culture towards um, the implementation of trauma-informed principles and practices. We were largely supported in those efforts through a grant made possible by AIDS United and MAC AIDS Fund um, that really supported us in being able to tra fully train our staff in the principles and practices of trauma-informed care. Um, we started out with monthly trainings for our staff as well as conference attendance and um, training in trauma-specific or trauma-responsive approaches to mental health. Um, we then received technical assistance and training from the Office on Women's Health, which led to the formation of our Trauma-Informed Service Provision Committee. The Trauma-Informed Service Provision Committee meets monthly to evaluate our progress towards implementing trauma-informed care, including um, an evaluation of our agency environment, as well as our staff competency in the principles and practices of trauma-informed care. Um, we continue to support our staff uh, through providing ongoing training as well as supporting them to attend additional trainings. And a big piece of the move towards trauma-informed care was to ensure that the meaningful participation of women living with HIV uh, was, a, was integral to every moment um, and every aspect of the work. And so therefore, we conduct focus groups and involve both staff and clients who are uh, living with HIV in every aspect of our uh, trauma-informed service de design, um, implementation, and evaluation. So I really believe that in order to best engage and retain people living with HIV in HIV healthcare, we really have to move towards a trauma-informed model. People at, at greatest risk for poor health outcomes who are living with HIV are disproportionately impacted by trauma and violence and abuse, and we really have to create, we have, really have to think about the impact of violence and abuse as central to all of our service approaches. Um, what we've really seen is as we move towards the model of trauma-informed care, we started with um, assessing the women that we serve for, briefly for um, current safety, PTSD, um, anxiety, depression, and other trauma-related barriers to engagement and care. And what we learned was that 85% of the women that we evaluated were experiencing those types of barriers. So when we know that statistics are showing us that the majority of the women that we serve have been impacted by these barriers, we have to become trauma-informed. I think that one of the big pieces that we've seen is in our ability to engage women and retain them in care, we're able to best target our resources. We're, you know, we're a small community-based organization and we have limited resources. And so through our trauma-informed model and our trauma-responsive services, we've been able to see great improvements in women's ability to access and retain care. And that's meant that we've been able to target our resources towards women who need them the most. So we've seen a great financial benefit at our organization. We've also received great interest in our model. And so we've, uh, you know, we've been able to do uh, provide capacity building assistance and training and so that's become a new source of revenue for our organization as we help to expand this model throughout the country. Lastly, we've been able to move this model into research and we just received a four-year research grant to implement trauma-responsive peer, peer navigation services in our trauma-informed environment. So it's really helped us to um, build our model here at Christie's Place and to pioneer the model so that other organizations can learn from, um, from our work and our lessons learned. I think that, it, I really would like to emphasize that uh, while this is a movement that we really are um, trying to uh, pioneer within HIV care, that this is a model overall for, for women's health and that um, all organizations that seek to serve women, children, and their families need to be gender responsive and need to be trauma-informed in, in order to best engage them in their health and well-being.